that was completely an accident. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, Uthgard, what the heck? <laughs> what on earth is wrong with her? <laughs> Kind of hilarious. Look, Ket. Where there's Ket, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. Oh, these look like good books. Daedra and Daedra. Chances folly. There's potions on the shelf here. That's excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um, Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> Oxygen. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. Thanks, Auto Drive. We ready? Happy New Year! Boost. There we go. And I even have champagne to toast.
Goodbye, 2021. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? Yep, um, that, that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath the vehicle. Oh. Okay, well. Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap, how am I not... That's unfortunate. All right, let's go for Circus Mac Maximus. Sock puppet hounds. That better not be a zombie in the uh, tank there. Uh. On second thought, I think a shower can wait. So this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style. So it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog. Um. This room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. The T-Rexes want to eat, they will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. Look at that. Holy crap, it looks so nice. They're destroying everything! There they are! Yes, they're destroying everything. Um No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Ten 
four. What? What is going on? What? 25% of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever is launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Did you freaking die already? Oh, you're the Alpha. Okay. What? Wow. They open. Oh. Rip tech. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> what is? Studious what is? Studious what is sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak. To clear the way. And so at David. Hey. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Too fast. Darn. All right, guys. You ready? Nice. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Hello, new builder. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Burgess, Chief Safety Inspector of the Sandrock Chapter of the Church of the Light. No solicitors, go away. Oh my god. What is this gang up on Gordonite? <laughs> hey Teo, got a surprise for you. Oh yeah, what's that? <gasps> Spider-Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> oh. Good work, other Spider-Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course.
Okay, Uthgird, I'm going to need you to be real careful here. No. Yeah. <sighs> you try and warn them. They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Uthgurt. <laughs> Gotcha. How am I only now realizing that I can have three active characters? What the hell? None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. going right into the water.
No problem. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing tonight? And Stara, it's good to see you. We're going to be playing a brand new game to the stream this evening. It's called The Sexy Brutal, which Twitch both likes and doesn't like. I have the oddest time trying to put that title into things. Game category? No problem. The uh, mobile alert? Uh-uh, no go. The channel points challenge stuff? Mm -mm, not having it. So very, very odd. But uh, we're going to play it this evening and see how it goes and see what it's like. So I hope everyone's doing well this evening. Let's see. Let's get the game started. I've never streamed it before, so we'll have to see what's going on with it. Hopefully I don't have to set up anything unusual. Nope, we're good. Okay. Interesting mix of costumes here. I particularly like these guys here with their steampunky cyberpunk masks and scissors, which is weird, but okay. We've got a Loki cosplayer over here. Start new game. The Marquis is the enigmatic owner and creator of the Sexy Brutal Casino Mansion. Every year he throws an extravagant masked ball. His impeccably trained staff cater to their every desire, but this year something is terribly, terribly wrong. The guests aren't getting what they want at all. But you can find that out for yourself, Lafcadio Obun. After all, you have all the time in the world. Okay, so it kind of looks like something's going on. I don't know if that's us that's out of our wits or somebody else. Time to move on, old man. It was a drive. Oh, I was hoping it would be something like a driver issue, Darkim. As it turns out, Jurassic World Evolution 2 doesn't work with the latest version of either AMD's or NVIDIA's drivers, but... Oh, actually, I was... I just updated to the latest NVIDIA drivers, but I have not played since I did that. That's not good to hear. But at least NVIDIA is pretty good about updating drivers. I've been having sound card issues, and Creative has gone almost two years. Actually, maybe more than two years now without an update, so I'm kind of annoyed about that. Uh, time to move on. How are you doing otherwise, Darkim? It's good to see you. Never take your mask off. It will give you a chance. Just a chance. You are not weak. I love the ambiance in this. And I will help you. But he... He is so, so strong. Okay, so she, clearly she is a refugee from Splatoon World. Get up. Not doing badly. I've not had enough sleep, so I may leave for a nap somewhere in the middle here. No worries, Darkim. Yeah, this is... Um 
I don't know exactly how to describe it because this is the very first time I've ever played it, but it is... It was gifted to me by the community because I really like classic point-and-click adventure games, and this is sort of a time-loopy murder mystery sort of experience in the point-and-click sort of style. Exactly how derived from point-and-click it is, I don't know. Modern games have really taken that root stock in several different directions. So we're going to find out pretty quickly here. Go through the door. This door, I guess. Okay. Look through the keyhole. What was that? Calm down, Reggie. They won't look for you here. Probably. Okay, so... He's got some kind of... funky helmet thing going on. This is neat. Follow him through the door. A little bit different than most point and clicks. The movement mechanics are a bit different. Wait, where is it? This is just garbage. Who locks garbage in a safe? Oh, something here. Look through the keyhole. Lucas, what have you done? I'm terribly sorry, sir. No, you can't, please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What will happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest. And then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the woodwork. Okay, so I guess that's the end of our tutorial experience. He's coming. Hide. Let's have a look. Ha! <laughs> it is still loaded. Let's see if this works. I guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. I like this a lot. Time to move. Shift to exit hiding place. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No, you can't. Please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What will happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest. And then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework, not woodwork. Okay. Be calm. You were not seen. He is not chasing you. Look back through the door. Where the hell is Seven Clubs? 
He can bloody well come and help me with the body. I'm not lifting it on my own. He did not see you. He will not chase you. No one in this mansion will. That was my gift when I touched your mask. It will protect you, but only for a short time. The staff are murderers here. The guests are victims. But they are all controlled, dominated by the masks they wear. I have one more gift for you. This pocket watch is important. I took it from the man you saw murdered. The NVIDIA issue with Jurassic World Evolution is likely a crossing of the streams. NVIDIA and Frontier were adding RTX and DLSS support for the game, and one or the other of them seems to have derped it up. Yeah, or possibly neither of them did, but they're independent doing things correctly, but, you know, well, whatever. Something went wrong. You're right about that, I think it sounds like, anyway. Yeah, hopefully that's the kind of thing that'll get pa patched up pretty quickly because I'm supposed to play this, uh, you know, Jurassic World again tomorrow. I'll have to load it up maybe after stream or during the afternoon and see how bad the crashing is in the meantime. Or I could just skip it for this week and we could do something else. I do need to get back into City Skylines. If you can return it to Sixpence, he will be able to unlock its full potential. But first, you will have to save him. I have to go. He will find me if I stay. Broken Pocket Watch. Use the Pocket Watch to restart the day from 12 p.m. The Pocket Watch is partially smashed and resets at 5 p.m. If you can find some way or someone to repair it, you will gain more control over time. It may be crashing or horrific visual artifacting. Roll back to last driver version solves it in the interim now. Yeah. I played a lot of the game last weekend though, which I don't regret in the slightest because I had a great time with it. Might not be the worst thing in the world to do some City Skylines or maybe even a second stream of um, my time at Sandrock. Well, actually, Sandrock's not really a strategy game. It's just, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something to do for a strategy Saturday. I might just reschedule Jurassic World for another night. You know, maybe by next week it'll be fixed. I did start an XCOM 2 playthrough a while back. I could do some of that. We haven't done that since January, I think. Here you will see the current guest or guests you are trying to save. Reginald Sixpence. The end of the beginning. Achievement unlocked. The Marquis invites you to tonight's show. And I didn't have a chance to read that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I have a big bloody handprint on my mask. The map. As you explore the sexy brutale, your map will be built up with the rooms you have discovered. Time Scrubber. The movement of characters you have seen will be added to the map. You can adjust the time shown on the map by using the Time Scrubber. Your map will record important information and events. Inventory, progress, brochure. Options. This is really heckin' cool.
Oh. I wanted to investigate here first. Several books on card sharpening, including a signed first edition by Clay Rockridge. The fire is roaring. Its intensity causes your heart to race. An ornate grandfather clock. It needs to be wound. The pocket watch grows warm when you approach the clock, but it is broken and the clock is not ticking. Blank cartridge. Check inventory for details. Blank bullets will make a loud noise, but no actual round will be fired. A person might use these to hunt with friends without actually harming any animals. The contents of the safe are scattered all over. There's nothing valuable to be seen in the mess. The sword on the wall is tall as a man. It looks razor sharp. I love the sound design in this. It's phenomenally good. Not sure what that was about, but let's not stick around and find out. What have you done? Oh, it's that time again. What? No, no, you can't. Please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. On the plus side, the gun still works. I'm almost out of time, it looks like. Do I need to be hiding in here? I kind of think maybe I don't. I think we're about to rewind anyway. Maybe on the other hand. p.m. in the theater, so we can't go to the show until we're capable of not rewinding time at 5.
nobody there this early. You never told me. You should have told me. Uh oh. I keep getting interrupted. Can I not take it? didn't see that? That's amazing. Oh, it's kind of stuck in there. It's a very expressive mask he's wearing. I guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. So I guess this guy in the church is the guy we're attempting to save. No, I didn't want to... No, no, no! The controls take a little getting used to. I certainly did not mean to do that. So I need to see if I can maybe figure out how to get rid of the gun. And possibly figure out what just made that crashing sound. My mask burns as I approach the door. It's as though it's pushing me away. Okay. And back we go. Firmly secured to the wall. I want to see the timeline of what happens in this room. I think we've got time before anything does happen. Though. Nope. get to look in here. Behind it is a painting of... Uh-oh. So that's where he comes from. Okay, so that's that. single earring and a smile that is too wide.
Sunflowers with human eyes. That's disturbing. Okay. Reginald Sixpence. Problem is, I'm really not certain how to interact with things yet. Invitations, cards. Oh, I don't have the bullet anymore. We don't know the consequences yet. I want to see what happens when this thing gets us. Okay, interesting. It actually seems to be stopping the progress of the clock. Oh. Okay, so it forces us into a rewind immediately. Interesting. The chair is old but flawlessly crafted. A Bible is on the table nearby. Several books, including a first signed edition. A girl holding what is possibly a weasel. Why wouldn't you hold a weasel? Okay, there's Mr. Two of Diamonds. They all say you're a true blue genius, but you've just run into a dead end to hide, so how smart can you really be? He's looking and sneaking around too. That's funny. Right on the stone steps, damn it. I should have brought the map or the bomb. Oh. Whoa! So they legit, they can't actually see me, but something in or about them kills me if we interact. Or, you know, occupy the same space anyway. So you don't really have long, you only have until about 3 o'clock to actually save the guy, somehow. Ledgers filled with running costs for the casino, they are covered in dust. The contents of the safe, right, okay. 
I'm going to guess this sword is plan B. Definitely one of those ones where you have to figure out a very specific set of actions you need to do to solve the puzzle. My current working theory is that I need to come up and get this cartridge and put it in proximity of the gun so that uh, he fires a blank instead of an actual cartridge. And then he'll probably come and try to grab one of these swords. Because so far the cartridge seems to be just about the only thing I can actually pick up and put in my inventory. this okay there's no cartridge here oh because the guy hasn't made a mess yet we have to wait My word, this room is ominous. Aha! Grayson, you reprobate. It's a bingo. Wait, where is it? There's the cartridge we need. Who locks garbage in a safe? Will be the next shot. Is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> ah, golden duck cracking job. This feels very different. Why am I wearing this mask still? Damon Ra, how's it going? <sighs> so much better. Good lord, Lacadio, hello! Where are we, do you know? Don't mind the body on the floor over there. And wait, is that my pocket watch? I have the strangest feeling I've been looking all over for this. You've done quite the number on it. There, that should see her right. All fixed. Ornate pocket watch. Now, I think I should get back to the party. Because, what's a party without a little murder before? Fixed pocket watch. Use the pocket watch on any ticking clock. This will save your game and set that clock as your starting point for each day. With the watch repaired, the full day is now open to you. I'm doing pretty good, Damon Ra. This is a really fun game. 
How's it going, JH? Uh, we solved the tutorial. Let's put it that way. Huh. Someone's been having a sly tipple on the job. Good job. Sleep it off, that man. Achievement unlocked. Sixpence none the wiser. Wow. Take his mask. You will need its power. Reginald's Clock Mastery. With Sixpence's mask, you can now create a bond with the clocks around the house. Use any active clock in the mansion to jump to 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. You saved Reginald's life. He was the personal clockmaker to the owner of this mansion, the Marquis. Well, he was more than that, but... The important thing is that the clocks in the mansion are tuned to him. Now you have his mask, his power. They will respond to you. You have to go, quickly. Even now the mansion is straining to undo what you have done. But you can fight back, saving one life at a time. This day will start again. I pray that Sixpence's power will free you from these rooms. If you are lost, find me in the casino. I will look for you by the clock. There are so many more qu guests here who need your help. Maybe a little bit weird, yeah, Dark Him, but on the other hand, it does set up the expectation that as you save more people, you'll get more masks and you'll gain more powers. Marquis, okay, invites you to a show at 7. You know, it stays like this, I wish I were less competent. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. The Grand Lobby and Ballroom. Find the Casino. Nope, we're good. The clock in your pocket watch tick in perfect harmony. The sound is soothing. Red is safely tucked away in the theater, etc., etc. diamonds. A stained glass window filters light through from the outside. your poison bar. Okay, it should be safe now. Ooh, something very cold and solid is blocking my way here. There's movement in the sand in this tank. The glass tank under the bar is filled with creepy crawlies of all shapes and sizes. The 
the Jack of Spades. The enormous snake that winds around the room must be artificial, but the skin is terrifyingly lifelike. Bottles filled with every poison under the sun. Some alcohol here, too. It's an old-fashioned vinyl record player. Sepia vinyl record. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if you would be able to leave the chapel. But you can. We have a chance. This is the casino, the front and center of the sexy brutale. The guests here are Trinity and Clay. There are more, but you cannot reach them yet. You have time to watch and learn. You must save them both together. You saved Reginald, and his mask has given you power over his clocks. They have all stopped, but if you can wind them, they will be very useful to you. I found the key for this area. That's all I can do for now. Stopped clocks in the mansion each need a specific key to be wound up. Use the matching key on the clock to wind up the clock. Winding a clock reveals the map for that area and allows you to make that clock your starting point each day. Save Clay, save Trinity. Clay Rockridge, the Brute in a suit. Trinity Carrington, the Moth by Moonlight. Control CCTV camera one, but you don't know the key code. The leather of the chairs is so soft, it's like gently warmed butter. The plant gives off a rich, calming scent. There is no fakery here. Okay, so this is one of the guys we need to save. We need to see this. Let's do this, Mr. Robot. There's another card here on the floor.
I'm guessing it's going to happen right around 8. Man, I hope Trinity is okay. She does love to wander. Trinity, should I be worried? Where are you? Let's do another hand. I gotta just win this, then go look for Trinity. Please, no more. Your luck is running out. Please, no more. Man, that's... that's kind of creepy. Clay, help her. Huh, <laughs> man, freaky. Okay, 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 I'm nearly, I'm nearly done, come on. Hey, Pixel, how's it going, man? It's okay, now I'm nearly done. Okay, let's play. Clay, she needs you. You have to see. You need to see. Ugh, you're the worst, the worst dealing robot ever. Uh, I'm really tired. I need to finish. Finish and find Trinity. Very well, Clay. You made your choice. You win. I win. I win one. I won win. <laughs> Celebration shot, woo, and this will be the fatal one. Gah. Okay, so at some point before we got here, somebody undoubtedly mixed poison into his drink, which was acquired from the What's Your Poison bar. Doing amazing. Job core is a little heavy-handed, but doing okay. Ah, that's good to know. Two of hearts. Okay, does time still pass when I'm in this? That's my main question here. Fixed pocket watch, Reginald's clock mastery, winding keys. So far, in my mind, what we've got is poison makes its way from the poison bar to his drink. We need to somehow prevent that, maybe switch the poison around with something else so that he doesn't die when he drinks it uh, and doesn't end up getting poisoned earlier, too, because that would be just as bad. Now, uh, the other thing is we could I actually we might not even need to stop the poison. We're collecting a lot of playing cards. If we can maybe manipulate the cards that the robot's using so that he gets the right combination of cards and wins early, then maybe he would stop drinking and actually go look for Trinity. And that might even be the key to saving her. Though it's hard to say because we have not located her yet. I'm going to assume that this is paused. I need to take a quick break, so if you guys will bear with me, I'm usually about three and a half to five minutes or so. Uh, when I started up the stream, the clip show seemed to be behaving itself tonight. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it still is. So I'll meet you back here after I'm done. If you need to get up and get some food or a snack or a drink or whatever, this is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in a few. You live alone with this droid. He is the personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. 
Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. You for a little while. Oh, you can't like it? Wow, that looks so creepy. Did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? Uh, Piper. Are you okay? What the heck? Um... They shouldn't loot the bodies right away. Bah! Oh my god! <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> Not so fast. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's, I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. suspicious now uh i quick saved right so yeah there we go oh shoot no no <laughs> damn it it's a good thing i saved recently I guess those are the quote-unquote dead Ewoks. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me.
There you go, there you go. Yep, um, that, that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered. Underneath a vehicle, oh. You ever use the force just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Ah, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... Bleh. Well, that answers What's your that? question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to court clothes. Oh my god. Sorry about that. That took a minute or two longer than I thought it would. But I'm back. On the plus side, it looks like the uh, looks like the clip show kept working tonight. That's a plus. Thank you, Anstara. Thank you, JH. What do you mean, Bastion? I don't think I ever streamed Bastion. I have played it. I don't think I streamed it. Oh, thank you, Darkim. I've really been enjoying the clip show. Mostly because I know you guys seem to enjoy the clip show. When I started, I only started last October. With seven years worth of streams, which was was uh, kind of a disappointing 117 clips. Now I actually had more than that. That was the number that I started with, specifically having edited for the clip show. I've since gone back into that original collection and added more from it. But still, seven years of streaming. I had to get rid of a lot of clips during the Great Purge when the DMCA stuff started, unfortunately. So there probably would have been more. Oh well. But uh, the number of clips has exploded since then. I just recently crossed the 500 clip threshold in six months. Maybe seven by now. Okay, what time? Why is it raining inside? That's weird. Some of the bottles contain suspiciously lurid colored liquids. An enormous screen shows video footage from a mood setting film. Love the Bastola clip. Yeah, Bastola. From Kotor. Okay, so it sets our location, but the time remains the same. Let's just run around willy nilly. 
since we really don't have a lot to lose. Table is stocked with heavy game gambling chips. Are they hand carved? The security camera is placed for a very close look. Someone who used to catch cheaters for your job, you're terrible at cards. Hey, I'll have you know I've got a pair of aces right here. Look, you ass. I know, I'm going to hell. But for real, you want to play a few hands with me? I'll ask a guy to bring the braille decks. Ah, maybe later? I don't want to get caught up in anything too stressful. Oh, interesting. Is she blind? That's got to be a very important character trait there. Oh, she's coming this way. Okay. Oh, that's not good. The statue wears a mask. The detailing is beyond exquisite. A tiny moth is carved on the side. Impossibly smooth to the touch, it is the work of a master artist. There is a moth carved in the base. The door has a complex security code panel. It will not open without the right casino security code. Bloody hell, Reggie. That's what passes for zippy banter in your mind? Hey, what's that on the screen, camera three? The casino is well surveyed, sir. I have shots lined up for every hand in Trinity. Oh, I missed that. Oh, hang on. He's coming in here. Hey, what was that noise? Yeah, he's putting the fatal drink in. Gunshot, sir? I certainly didn't hear it. Huh, maybe I've had too many. Actually, I've not nearly had enough. A one-way mirror looks into the gambling hall. The large screen is showing footage from the CCTV feed. A small seating area looks out into the casino. A one-way mirror? It's the code key for the CCTV panels. CCTV camera 2 switches off. Oh, and we get a card. Ace of clubs. There are drinks on the table as if they have been left here only moments ago. That screen, that looks like... Trinity? Trin, Trinity! 
What the hell? Trinity! Where is she? Trinity, I'm coming! A terrible run of luck, sir. What the hell? Oh god, easy now. Whoa, whoa, I've got you. Clay. Clay, thank god. Let's get you up. Did I accidentally save them? I mean, it's probably a little too early to say. Oh, Clay, I have to get this mask off. I don't know what happened. What a fright. Boone? What are you doing here? Man, what a nightmare. Was it you who turned on the cameras? If you hadn't, I don't know what. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's get out of here, Trin. Bet you could use a drink after that. Um, maybe not the one that you were had lined up there. Man, I could use a drink. You know me so well. Round of blackjack? Loser does shots? Oh god, I hope they don't have that one drink. <laughs> I wish I could take credit for this one, but that was completely accidental. I didn't get a chance to try any of my strategies. You found the way to protect them, Boone. Clay is an unstoppable force once roused, he and his brother both. But it's Trinity who is special. Take her mask, it's her gift to you. Trinity's perfect hearing. Trinity's mask allows you to hear even the smallest sounds. While spying or hiding, listen to whispered conversations or other quiet noises by using the power when the prompt appears. Additionally, you will now be able to hear more when you listen out around out listen out to your surroundings. Trinity has exceptional hearing. Her blessing is now yours. With that mask, you will be able to find the way through to the guest rooms. There is a girl there who is fighting so hard against the darkness in this place. She needs your help, Boone. This is a really cool game. <laughs> I like this a lot. Okay, where's our map? So we still have some rooms we haven't really discovered yet, like this one here, in adjacent to where we just were. That's the CCTV room, that's the casino, well this whole place is the casino, but that's the robo-dealer room. That's the foyer, that's the snake bar. We don't know what this is. I want to find out what that is, and then that. The Seven of Spades. The room is full of items and memories that someone seems to be trying hard to forget and ignore. Everything is old and covered in sheets. I don't have the right key for the job. The door is locked. I can't open it.
The enormous statues appear to have been struck from muddled bronze and finished with pure gold trim. On the side of the foot is a mark, runes. and techniques. Camera three turned off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. You overheard the code for the casino security doors. What was that noise? Five, five, six, four. I wonder if I have to save her again or if she's just safe now. It's so warm in here. Where am I? I hear wings, butterflies. Oh crap, I didn't want to go in. Don't speak to your pet spiders? I do not. Just having a nice chat in a room with a giant spider? Yeah, exactly, Darkim. My car project continues surprisingly. Yesterday I had a test drive. Oh, how did that go? They had fast slot for me to test it. So how was it? Is it something you're interested in? more than possible to save the same quests over and over. But you need to help them all. You need to find what is at the heart of all this and put an end to it. You have Trinity's power. You can use it to open doors that were locked before. Think. Where is there you can get to that was locked previously? Search the casino. I believe that's what you're looking for. Leaf was nice, much better than my current 20-year-old car, which probably doesn't take much. Fair.
Okay, where's the map? What's this? Trinity's perfect hearing. I wish there was info on these when I did stuff. I mean, these red pins are nice and all. And not exactly the most helpful thing ever. Lots of cameras, information on screens, and easy to spin steering wheel. Excellent. Sepia vinyl record. Did we ever go up this way? I'm not certain we did. We did not. Oh, something very cold and solid, right. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, is that? <laughs> Even in a hangout like this. I can spot your hand work handiwork a mile away, Willow. Okay, Thanos said the statue is through here. Let's go take a look. Okay, so he was able to use the door. The candle is curiously cold. This isn't where the record goes. Something very cold and solid is blocking my way. trying to save the oh we don't even know who we're trying to save mask powers clock mastery perfect hearing and no information on the next four i have five of 52 cards and no invitations yet We're here. Four of Hearts is down here. What's his face is there. Trinity's in there. We don't know who this other person is. Looks like there's two more rooms down here I haven't been to, plus that one there. So I need to go through here and then back here, and then I need to find the door here. I think this might be the door that they were talking about that I might be able to access now.
Uh-oh. Now we can get in. There are stacks of ledgers here, rows and rows of figures. It's a spiky box with a big padlock. Well, that was close. It's an urn made of delicate mosaic glass. The mirror, the mirror is beautifully crafted and highly polished. Looking into it gives you a deeply unsettled feeling. Okay, so that looks like it's all the rooms down here. That's the only one. Well, this door and this door look like the only ones I haven't been able to get into yet. So we need to check out the rest of this hallway. And what the heck happened to the dude that walked in here? He headed into the door ahead of us, and now he's just gone? The statue shows a girl weeping over two dice marked with skulls. It is troubling. There is a moth marked on one of the die. The statue has a tiny moth marked on one of the cards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is awkward, I have nowhere to hide. So that the mask spirits don't get us. The security monitor here has been switched to show footage from the mood setting film intended for the gambling hall. The sexy brutal welcome video is now being shown on the main casino screen. Oh, 
Oh, this is also new. Uh, we're here. Okay. Okay. A sail, a building, a traveler. It's impossible to tell. Maelstrom of chaos and darkness. It is not welcoming. Oh, look at that. A forest scene, blurred and strange, or a skyline. So that's not a door. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Key of old habits. Yeah, I don't have the key anymore. Okay, so we need to get back here again. Inventory for details. A heavy rusted key. It exudes menace. I wonder if this will get us through the door in the poison bar. Or one of these, perhaps. It's as though it's pushing me away. Okay, so not that one. in there. Okay, you're not up to a whole lot. Oh, okay, I can't go in anyway, but good to know. Ten of diamonds. The cabinet is empty. The room gives you a f strange feeling of deja vu. Or has that not happened yet? Creepy. And that's a very familiar looking candle. these candles when they're lit they're driving me away uh oh okay The fireplace is huge and extends deep into the wall. There is a tiny carving of a moth on one side. Okay, so I think that is the upper floor of here, maybe? Looks like it would make sense. The 
fire is roaring. That'll also block us, looks like. Uh oh Willow Blue, the flame in the dark. Uh, she's the next we need to save. So we made it to the guest rooms. This is not where the key is used. Okay. The candle is curiously cold and also not blocking my progress, I notice. So I might not be right, right about that. Yeah, okay, so this is the upper part of that hallway. Six of spades. Flowers in a china vase. They are perfectly, perfectly fresh. There is a potent smell of spices and musk emanating from the trunk. Dangerous looking books fill the shelves. One appears to describe how to split and hide part of your soul through murder. The desk is covered with macabre bone and skull designs. It appears to be locked tight. You can't unlock the desk with that. A collection of canvases are stacked against the wall. They are all initialed EB. A painting of a skull? Or is there something deeper? Well, the nose appears to be a whale. A small desk, presumably for writing or sketching. A table filled with art supplies. All the tubes of fluorescent white seem to be missing. The canvas has been blacked out. Looking very closely, it seems as though there is a painting of a couple smiling under the layers of thick black paint. There is a chalk sketch on the canvas. It has a different feel to all the other paintings in the room, like it was scribbled in a hurry or a panic. Transcendent Angelfish. Cruel selective breeding has created this exquisite angelfish variant. It has no mouth and exists only as decoration. Dogfish. This sleek little shark was rescued from an unscrupulous restaurant. Has so far eaten a small fortune in exotic tank mates. There's a key in there. Guest room's winding key. Five of diamonds. Devil monarch fish, a variant of the tiny devil's hole pup fish. One fish in approximately every hundredth generation develops into this stunning monarch mutation. Scorpion fish, a fierce beauty with striking colors. A single drop of his poison is used in the Abyssal Bite cocktail available in the casino bar. That power fluctuation that keeps happening at this time needs to be 
that's an interesting void with no apparent door in. Um, but yeah, it needs to, that, that has to be significant in some way. These candles are marked on the map. That's got to be significant too. can't go anywhere up there. And we're just about out of time up here. It's a pretty good night so far. How are you doing? Okay, can't go there. The mansion gardens stretch out in the distance. Doing good in three-day weekend? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so there was a candle back there, but I don't even know if I can get back there. camera room. Keeping the mansion and its guests safe and secure is an enormous task and one which the Marquis and his security team took very seriously indeed. The previous head of security, Clay Rockridge, would often confirm suspected cheating from this room here, but take no immediate action. It would only be later on, in the grounds of the mansion after dark, that the perpetrators would find themselves with their heads held underwater in the beautiful garden fountain, but only until they saw the error of their ways, of course. How are you doing? It's really good to see you tonight. This is a really fascinating game that I'm enjoying a great deal. What's Your Poison Bar? The What's Your Poison Bar is one of the great draws of the Sexy Brutale. Every cocktail here is spiced with just a touch of exotic venom from one of the highly dangerous creatures kept within the mansion. It is these venoms that give the drinks served here a kick and flavor that most will never have experienced anywhere else. This Practice is both highly dangerous and extremely illegal, which only adds to the appeal and palate of the drinks. It is said that the most delicious and dangerous venom is harvested from an enormous spider lurking deep in the mansion. Okay, so now the map hopefully is still showing that stuff. What else have we got? Secrets. So 
So there's a couple that have shown up a little bit. Music rooms. The guest rooms. Painting room. An unknown power is needed to unlock this information. Okay. Find this guest's invitation to unlock their information. Alright guys, it looks like it's time for me to take another break again. It seems like it might be a good time to do that. So I will be about, uh, you know, three and a half to five minutes. This will be a quicker break. Last time I went slightly long. I won't need to do that this time. So if you will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few. <laughs> they oh rip tag. Definitely like this increased venom power stuff. Oh, this is good. Oop. Yep. That's definitely true. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's going to make the ship go faster, right? Not fly it? Welcome aboard, yada, 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 yada. Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They forced their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> what? This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore. Simulation is a tough nut to crack, though, for a game that has to track so much else at the same time. Oop. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I guess these guys are immortal. Nope. Oh, 
shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. It seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you Okay, I'm back. Okay, where to? We still have these big thingies. Thank you, J.H. Now, see, I don't know how to get down there yet. That's a secret room off here. I wonder, maybe. Oh, I can't go through this door, though. That's part of the problem. And that guy's in there. Still have no idea if he actually does anything or not. Key of old habits, I wonder. This time, instead of going upstairs, We go upstairs after all. Can't go there yet. Painting of Tequila Bell. It's signed by E. Bonds. There's water seeping through and pooling on the floor. The wall is damp to the touch. 
There is makeup spread across the desk as well as a pen and writing paper. It looks like the top sheet was torn off. Hey, Jarek, how you doing? bed is an extraordinary vision of gothic decadence. It looks like it has not been slept in for a long time. Felt a little sick yesterday and then slept all day away and doing a little better now. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. I'm actually starting to feel a little bit off myself tonight. Nothing too horrible, thankfully. But streaming is helping. Having this interesting game is helping too. Okay, so we have tutorial floor, we have ground floor, we have first floor. What's his face is over here? I don't know. Oh, that might be the indicator of which clock I've got set as my starting point each day. Still no real indication of what's going on here. The closest we have to information is that there was water seeping through this wall, which is interesting. And it looks like there's more than one room back here. How you get into those, I don't know. Unless maybe there's stairs up or down into the area from elsewhere. Looks like you arrive here from here, and I... This could be a corresponding void, actually. Maybe this room off of this area and this area here. There could be something over here. There is this room here. That's the one that we were able to look into through the peephole. That's the trap door in the floor, but that goes downwards. But there's that door going off this way. There could be a ladder or stairs going up somewhere in here that could bring you up into this area. Just got off a night of Stellaris with the gang. I need to play Stellaris again at some point. I have the game and I even have most of the expansions for it. I might be missing the latest one, I'm not sure. But I really do enjoy the game and I don't get nearly enough actual time playing it. Whew. One of us theory crafted a fairly nutso build that is based on nothing I have done in Stellaris before, therefore they are more or less nailing it while I'm sort of stumbling forward in almost a comical way. Testing something new is refreshing. What is it that they're doing? No. Oh. Bone key. 
Her body swings above the darkness. So we can't really save her this time through. Hammer, how you doing? Lamprey, also known as the Bastard of the Deep, this highly unpleasant character is a reminder to us all that life is ugly and draining as it is beautiful and noble. An ornate grandfather clock, it needs to be wound. There's no obvious way to use that with the clock. Golden Koi. Ten generations of Koi have been fed on pure gold flakes to create this stunning creature with solid gold scales. Donated by our friend Aurum. Hungry Charm. A grim looking fetish. Its eyes are closed, but its mouth is open and hungry looking. A slender key made of bone, eerily worn, warm. It's based on one of the latest mechanics where you can create fleets and sort of turn them into their own independent faction mercenaries thing that still listens to you. That's interesting. I need to read up on all the changes. Okay, how's our map looking? Oh, how did I never think to go through that door or that door? That's really crazy. Huh. Pom pom fish. This puffy black fish has long hair like fins and looks like an indignant drowned rat. The chair looks very well used. There are some red hairs on the backrest. A sense of peace and calm emanates from this corner of the room. The candle is curiously cold. Pygmy sunfish, affectionately named Manbo, loves to dance. People hire them, then the mercenaries pay dividends to you. Thousands of credits and whatever they loot, so you get minerals and goods too. That's really awesome. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm back down here. Up to it, sir. I want to see if I can catch the guy leaving here as quickly as I can. We've seen a person leave this room through this door. That looks like it might be a flask or a lock. Kind of looks like a padlock. And they don't count to your navel cap too. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I'm not 
not sure when he actually shows up. So maybe I'll focus instead on trying to witness the murder of the person we're trying to save at the moment. There's one build of corporation that can have up to five of those things. The other setups that can have these Merc fleets usually cap out at two or three. Damn. That's pretty cool. Now, what are the chances of them ever eventually turning on you? Oh, I wonder. Hang on. A rope connected to the bell is tied to the wall. I don't know what to do with that until something happens here. So the shot goes off around quarter to four. Late afternoon. None because their patron has this kill switch on them, so you can just recall those fleets whenever you get a war declared on you. Oh, nice. There has to be some kind of downside to it. Wow, 5 p.m. and no sign of anybody yet? It's got to be sometime in the next two or three hours. There is that, Jarek. There is that. Okay. So you might not be able to recall them if you build up your military too big. I'm coming now. I've missed you all so much. I can't wait to see you. So just a little before 6 p.m. What the hell? I thought she was going to get tossed off there by someone. Wow.
The seating in this room has a very clear VIP feel to it. Seven of Clubs. Well, oh, damn it, you're still coming after me. Well, not actually coming after me. Coming towards me, more like. Okay, that's just about it for the day. I want to light the candle, but th this doesn't seem to be the right way to go about it. This feels like an inappropriate use of the bone key. Guest room's winding key, wait. Did it. Just in the nick of time. No! I didn't do it in time? Ah, that's annoying. It also doesn't really matter that much, but that's okay. My friend wrote up on all the things you can do with the Galactic Council, and after a lot of voting, you can apparently, after a while, make it so that no one will have any, fiat, any fleet cap ever, and that it's illegal for anyone to ever start a war without a mercenary fleet on your payroll? So with four players having five mercenary fleets each, we would essentially rule the galaxy without actually conquering much, because all the fleets out there are going to be ours. Only problem might be the endgame crisis, but we aren't there yet. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now we know we've got about five hours or so until she takes her own life. That means our first priority here is to figure out where the heck she is, what she's doing, and what we might be able to do to prevent her from hanging herself. So firstly, I'm going to check the rooms near the bell tower. She's not in those.
It's a weird and roundabout crazy strat. It seems like it. Oh, that was her. I screwed up. It's a good thing you shared your secrets with me, Lucas. least. I'm going to stick around in here and see what happens when she comes out. Actually, before we do that. Oh, okay. So that's part of the empty space. There's a secret room in there. I don't think we're going to be able to stop her from dying this time around, but maybe we'll get some more information in this room as to what's going on. got to be emerging very soon. She has a date with a rope. Next half hour, I would guess. Ah, the flame. A face in the dark. My candles. They will reveal, I miss you, I miss you so much. The path is so clear to me. Enormous impossible chains suspend a glowing skull over the doorway. It radiates a sense of repulsion and dread. The door is sealed by an enormous glowing skull. You cannot enter. The gigantic skull lock grins mockingly. This is not the right item. Gonna take us like a month and a half to finish though. The lot of us only got time for six hours Friday to Saturday night. And first and eighth of July are off because one of us got a computer that slows the game speed down to slow, sadly. Well, what can you do, right? At least you'll get there. An unknown power is needed to unlock this information. Okay.
I'm trying to think of where the other keys were. I need the one that's going to let me unlock the clock up here. Where the heck is it? Here. Was it here? No, it couldn't be here. Find it. Is it? Old habits, hungry charm, bone. Where the heck would it be? The game speed slow even for Stellaris is something I welcome when I try something new but most Stellaris players out there won't even want to imagine playing a full session let alone four of them on slow but I'm old enough to have heard about games that you played a turn then sent a file on email there were times even before email Jarek where you would send the file on a floppy disk through regular mail there were a number of games like that the early civilization games had that feature Heck. Damn it, I don't know where this frickin' key is. I think I just did it. I think I never found the key because I already wound the clock with it. I just had to use the actual thingy, which means I should spawn here when the clock strikes midnight. That's my theory anyway. We'll find out in a second. Yep. Did it. Yay. Okay.
Tequila, please stay out of the painting room. Willow, sweetheart, I have to dash. You'll start without me otherwise. You don't have a comb that I could borrow, do you? Hey, keep your filthy hands to yourself. What? No, I didn't mean... Darling, you've been acting so weird all cooped up in that room alone. I can hear you at night, you know. It's creepy is what it is. Creepy. No! No! The missing charm worries me, but without that recipe on my desk, there's a limit to how much they could do. I'm coming for you, beast. I'll stop you spreading your poison. Now, back to the tank. I think I dropped my invitation. I guess Twitch didn't like you to have this game's title in the going live announcement. No, it did not, JH. I couldn't type it. habits, you know, for old habits sake. goes on in here, if anything. I think there are a few people that pass through here at various times. rooms find this playing card to unlock this information the ace oh that's interesting that's what the cards do the what's your poison bar the ca the casino Well, we know that What's-Her-Name had an invitation, but she thinks she lost it. Sixpence, we fixed that. 
Clay Rockridge and Trinity Carrington. We fixed them. Willow Blue. We're still working on her. Wait, why is she there? Oh, she's... Okay. So she'll be on her way. She's looking at the painting right now. Got it. How the heck do we stop her from offing herself? I wonder if there's an item further back in the casino that I need. Is there any music stuff up here? It's a candle. I don't see anything in any of the rooms that I can access. Can we shoot her? That'll make sure she won't off herself. No, JH, that's uh, that's not going to accomplish our goal. We don't just want to make sure that she doesn't off herself. We also want to make sure that she just, you know, kind of stays alive. Killing her would successfully keep her from offing herself, but it won't make her stay alive. So if there's no music stuff, then going back for the record here isn't going to help. What's with the game name? Why is it called Sexy Brutal? Because that's the name of the casino that all of this is happening in. Casinos are sexy places, and this is a particularly brutal casino. It seems to actively want the people in it to be murdered by the casino staff. I'm a little bit of a loss here, though. Playing cards found. Oh, interesting. Change time zone shown. So hang on.
So we don't know where she is right at 12. But at some point, she's in here around 12.35. And who's this lady? We don't know who this is. But she pops up and they talk. We overheard that conversation. They won't be able to spend money then? Well, clearly this casino has motives other than the financial. So she hops out there. Meanwhile, this guy's up there. She goes off that away. She goes back into her room, hangs out there for a moment, then pops over here. Then she goes in there for a while. Oh, we know she's there. She's returning and goes up there. She hangs out in here for a good while, then... Around 5.15, she hops out here, goes hangs out there. Then she beelines it right there. And... Boop. Around 7.40, 7.45, she dies. I think that's right, J.H. I think it only marks the times and locations if we ourselves are aware of them. So let's see if we can rewind time here. So I think these guys in red with the scary gas mask playing card masks, they are the staff of the casino, and they're the ones that are murdering everyone. And it's not so much about catching the killers as preventing them in your, like, you know, preventing them from being killed at some point so that you get the mask power. So we saved these two last time through. So he was there, he takes off, we don't really know where he went. We know that she popped up there and went over there, and then she and he were there, and she ended up going up there and getting munched by a spider, but we stopped that. Meanwhile, he just sits there drinking and playing blackjack all day until he eventually drinks a bad drink and dies too. So maybe what I ought to do, I've been kind of focusing on following the guests around a bit. Maybe I should get a better idea of where some of these employees are. wonder if there's a place to hide down here. Because I think the reason we know about number two of spades is because we witnessed him from down here somewhere. Unfortunately, 
can't get in there. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I'm gonna need a drink after this. On the one hand, I got Thanos making me walk halfway across the world. Tell me spook stories about the staff here murdering people. Then on the other hand, those self-same staff are the only ones looking after me and doing a good job. What's a guy to do? Okay, let's have a look and see at that. Who's this? Okay, so that's somebody I don't think I've encountered before. Yeah. Whoever that was is not showing up on the map. That's weird. That's really kind of extra weird. I don't know what to do about that one. very curious about people's movements now. Oh, there's an invitation in one of Clay's pockets. Clay Rockridge was previously the head of security at the Sexy Brutale, but over the years became firm friends with the Marquis. Powerful and intimidating, he and his much gentler brother, Head Croupier Red, oversaw many of the most successful and influential evenings at the Sexy Brutale. 
Clay's background as a prize fighter means he is not the most beautiful of men, but his extraordinary wife still found something deep and good in his voice and actions, enough at least to overcome any exterior roughness. Clay has struggled with drink, but never had any trouble staying sober while on duty. Shifting his addictive nature to focusing on work meant that he was a truly effective partner to the Marquis, but one with a darker side. Kilo, please stay out of the painting room. Willow, sweetheart, I have to dash. He'll start without me otherwise. You don't have a comb that I could borrow, do you? Mm, so she's talking to someone other than whoever that is. Well, at least you'll be safe. Back to the tank, I think I dropped my invitation. It's a good thing you shared your secrets with me, Lucas. see here. Oh, wow. Time for the gun shot already.
Yeah, I like the soundtrack in this game quite a bit. It's pretty good. So we know she's in there around 5.30. What happens later? It was around 6.05. We knew she was there too. So when does she get eaten? Okay, so it's a little later than this that he's there. Let's see if we can dig up more info on what he's up to. Okay, so I heard what he was up to, but that's not confirmation that it was him, so it's not moving the icon. This is really interesting, and it's starting, the deeper I go in, the more complicated it's getting really quickly. Alright guys, I need to take a quick break. Actually, it might be a slightly longer break again, I uh, hope you don't mind but I will make it as fast as I possibly can. So I'll be back in a few if you need to get up and get yourself a drink or a snack, whatever you need to do. This is a really good opportunity to do it. And I'll meet you back here in a bit. Phenomenal. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my... Wow. Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. Up, Gerd. Oh. Vampire. Oh, that was cool. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> I haven't even set the fire yet. Wow. 
out. If they're up to it, I might as well join in. It's a little casual arson between friends. Fine. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> At this point, I should probably be level 1 or 2. I'm level... what level am I, actually? 54. still with us. Take a swim. Oh. Whoop. Whoops. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? She's not going to be careful. <sighs> you could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Journal entry added. Experience points received, 200. I do kind of have in mind all the happenings before. Um. Traffic simulation is a tough nut to crack, though, for a game that has to track so much else at the same time. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. I guess those are the quote-unquote dead Ewoks.
Wait. Wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. <laughs> oh my God. Well. Commander. Uh, you can't outrun me. The commander. <laughs> Ranger is lit. Reinforcements are coming. Oh man. The, co the commander leaped off to his own death. Hey, what time for me? Got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? <gasps> Spider-Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <coughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Good work on the Spider-Man. Thanks. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I hope that wasn't too long. Uh, it was a little longer than I was hoping, but not as bad as I was hoping. We'll see over the next hour or so how I feel. I feel fine right now. Thank you, Jage. I want to see if she's got an invitation on her after she dies. Which kind of means she needs to die at some point. dead. No, I can't loot her though. So she basically, I think, spends the rest of the night there. Hidden passage.
Oh, she is dead, but the mask is still there. That's pretty grim. that the spider doesn't get us either. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her invitation then. I wish there was an indication on these doors, you know, on the map. What's going on with them, why they're blocked, or even just that they're blocked would be nice, in a way. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Until tomorrow. Who the heck is that one down there? Is she? Ah. No good.
I'm good. Okay. Okay, now I want to rewind this. What the heck was going on down there? Oh, it would be down here, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, so that was another sighting of this person. When are we due to see them again? Oh, so they're around there, around 205. And they return a good ways away from that, actually. Looks like they exit at about 6.30. So they either spend a lot of time in here or elsewhere, whereabouts unknown. What time is it now? Oh. Oh, nope. I'm very curious to see what happens when that guy shows up, because he's not here now, so he's not spending his time at the bar. But he's got to pass through here from somewhere real soon. Stay in here. I didn't. Uh, okay. Next time through, we're going to try and figure out that guy's schedule because I'm sure we're going to eventually have to uh, rescue him from death as well, even if he's not our current actual case. Yeah, so we caught part of his movements in this room. What time is it now? Seven. See anybody? Oh, I can go in here. What the heck? How did I not know I could go in here? A copy of Rorschach debunked. It's just ink. 
The book is filled with beautiful monochrome paintings of faces, animals, scenery. A handwritten collection of cocktail recipes by L. Bonds. shelf is empty. No, wait, the Ten of Clubs. Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of the lost 116 pages from the original Book of Leahy. Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of the 12 missing pages from the Index Gigas. The door is locked tight with a hefty padlock. It could probably be picked open. Pretended to eat his dentist egg. Wow. So I wonder if I can go in over here too. The statue's arm has locked into place and cannot be moved. golden person who doesn't seem to show up. Nine of clubs. There's not a lot here other than this door that we can't do much with. Oh, that's fancy. the door to the mansion should be, there is only seamless, smooth marble. We're investigating, Greeny. The casino is sexy and brutal, both. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I am sorry you had such a rough day today. Let's see. So right now we know that number two is over there. And headed that way. Interesting. You've had the day. Yeah, it kind of sounds that way. I'm really sorry about that. enough to see anything.
Yeah, it's mostly been all right here, Greeny. I haven't actually been feeling all that well tonight, but it's a thing that sort of comes and goes. And it seems to be mostly fine right now. Right now, we're trying to prevent this lady over here that just walked into that room from hanging herself around... I want to say about... Actually, I can check. I think it's around 6 p.m. Oops. Yeah, that's it around... Oh, 7.30. Around 7.30, 7.40, she gets snuffed out. And we need to figure out why, which means I need to figure out how to get through this giant skull door, which means I'm missing something and I'm having a hell of a time with it. It's a really interesting game, though. Okay, so two of Ace of Spades. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Two of diamonds is down there, but that's the one that started out up here. Huh. Simple Gord, just do the thing with the thing by the thing and that's it, yeah. Mostly, I think it's going to be a matter of just trying to find ways to figure out what people are where, doing what, when. And that's mostly a matter of remaining unseen by their mask powers. Hey, Mr. Soggy Ramen, how are you doing? That's two. What? You're kidding me. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. So he's the original baddie from the tutorial, too. He goes off here. That's a different one. This guy's down here. By 110, two of diamonds has appeared here. Somehow. Doing well, broke out the Oculus watching on the big little screen. Very cool. So he hangs out there, then he goes around here, then he appears here, and he murders this guy. Boom. And then disappears. And then we've got four of hearts up here. so interesting watching where people go when when I don't know that one but it looks nice got seven of clubs up here suddenly. And he vanishes over that way. Thing is, you really have no idea 
whether any of these characters are actually relevant to anything. Like that two of uh well the what was it? This guy here. <clears throat> two of diamonds. I have no idea. He was highly relevant in the tutorial, because he was the guy that was killing the guy with the thing. But Now that we've dealt with that, I don't know if he continues to have any relevance or not. A perfectly chill and relaxing day at work? No, probably not. Hmm. Where are we? It's just a little after two o'clock. there. Okay, so now we know which room she vanishes into. That's something. can't go there to actually spy on the room. I do want to go back downstairs to the poison bar. for a little while. Actually, we should also check our inventory and see what this sepia record is all about. Tequila Slammer. Okay. Here he comes. I always liked this bar. Used to be a lot livelier, though. But hey, party ain't even started yet.
Okay, so he vanishes into there. So we've got a good chunk of his movements mapped out then, at least up to the point that we can actually, you know, do anything about. Interesting that now the arm is not locked into position. It actually works. Diamond. Uh huh. I wonder what the significance of that is. Because there's another one of those. And that's also lit up green on heart. But those are the only two that I've found so far. Not the right item. Okay. That is not where this is used.
have an idea. It's a bad idea. But it's an idea. Oh. Hello. Okay, so we just found out she comes in through here. It looked like a she anyway. Yeah, I think that's the Queen of Clubs. So the idea is that these ones that glow red, these are the staff of the casino, and they are the ones that are killing people. But it's not actually our job to track down the killers. We just have to stop the people from actually getting killed. So it is useful to know when and where these are going to be, just in case it turns out that they are attempting to kill a person that we need to protect. My problem right now is that we have to protect Willow Blue from death, but she's not actually being murdered as far as I can tell. If we watch this area of the map, this is Willow here. This mask indicates Willow. So she hangs out in the hall here for a little while, she talks with her, then she goes in here and she mumbles to herself, then she goes here and she mumbles to herself, and then she goes in here and then into this blank space that I can't access because there's a giant skull in the way that I need an item to get past, and then she stays there for most of the afternoon. And it's only later, around 5.20ish, 5.15ish, that she comes out of there and then she admires some painting and then she goes in here and boop right off the edge with a rope and gone so the key to it's got to be in here but that's no good without the key to here so i'm not sure what i'm missing but i'm obviously missing something but there's something blocking me from going past here. I need some sort of new power or ability to go through, I think. So I can't really go explore these rooms at all. These rooms are blocked off, but I can peek into them for all the good that does me at the moment. And I don't see anything else that I can really do up here. Down here, there's a little bit more, but I've pretty much exhausted my options there, too. At least as far as I've been able to figure out, anyway. So, I don't know. You'd like this room, Greeny. There are trees in there. But unfortunately, there's also a giant spider. We had to save a lady from getting eaten by it earlier. This is the room with the stairs up to the upper floor that we're on now. There are a couple more doors. Actually, we were able to peek through this one and see here. Maybe I should go and see if I can see through here. Nope. The cabinet is empty. The room gives you a strange feeling of deja vu. Or has that not happened yet? Uh, 
Now, that guy we were following earlier, he mentioned something about repairing statues. You recognize the statue as a Carrington without even needing to check for the moth mark. Oh, we can peek through. And there's a new clock back there, too. Okay, so yeah, that popped up on there, and it does have the clock marked. So, we can't go through, I don't think. My mask burns as I approach the door. It's as though it's pushing me away. Of course, sir. The two of you are really quite famous. Huh, famous, eh? Well, I guess we work pretty well together. Even if he is a little cranky nowadays. You hear that? Wish it didn't have to be like this. This is a good man. Say what, friend? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Point is, Thanos says you staff are out to get us. You believe that? I don't... I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Truth be told, me neither. But Thanos, he's got his theory. Says he has a secret way down into the basement. The basement? Yep, that I can believe. After all, he built this place, or his family did anyway. Sir, please, I... Don't you worry, I don't buy anything fishy's going on. But I did say I'd help him. And the one thing I can't shake is, I haven't seen Lucas around. You know anything about that? No, sir. The Master is often very busy. Yeah, but I've not seen Ellie either. It does seem a little off somehow. Anyway, I guess I'll have to pass on another drink or Thanos won't let me hear the end of it. Take care now. was an interesting conversation and that fills in a lot more of this guy's timeline not to mention Mr. Ace of Spades over here okay so we knew he was there around 2 then we have a little bit of a gap where presumably he still is. 125, then a little gap there, and we started listening around 325. Need to get there earlier next time through. That's really cool. So I wonder if that's it. I wonder if maybe there's a conversation or something going on somewhere here that I need to listen in on. That was a big info dump. Secrets. No worries, Jarek, no worries. I actually might have to end a little bit early. I kind of feel not so great again. 
But at the, on the other hand, I don't really want to end. seen that before. Oh, maybe it was her because this is right around the time when she comes down and goes in there. Okay, that's probably what it was. It was warning me of her proximity. Seven of clubs. See if we can catch him before he exits, but I seriously doubt it. No, he's already gone through wherever he was going through. Okay. Oh, so seven was over there. Came out and went that way. Do we have. That's seven of clubs, right? Yeah. Let's see if we've got seven of clubs anywhere else during the day. There's ace of spades down there. Four of hearts down there. Now, okay, so this is 4.30 and we were listening to these guys talk. I want to make sure I get there a lot earlier tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, it was 3.25 we were there. Uh, 
And we know that this guy's still there at 205. And at 125. No sign of seven, though, anywhere. Hmm. Okay, basically, I just want to get down here as early as I can and see... Actually, I might even... might even go back to that clock temporarily. If I've got time, it's already almost 11. Might be too late. Just made it. So I guess he's just going to sit there. Okay, the other guy's got to be showing up at some point soon. Be interesting to see where he comes from. Hey, Crispy, how you doing? We're just kind of staking this guy out for the time being. I missed part of a conversation I need to hear. Mr. Rune, sir. It's a pleasure to have you in my bar. I'm such a fan of your beautiful work. Can I offer you a restorative, perhaps? <laughs> you know, according to my friend, I shouldn't so much as shake your hand, let alone take a drink from you. I don't quite follow, sir. You know Thanos? Mr. Gorecki? Of course, sir. The two of you are really quite famous. <laughs> famous, eh? Uh, I guess we work pretty well together. Even if he is a little cranky nowadays. 
You hear that? Wish it didn't have to be like this. This is a good man. Say what, friend? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Point is, Thanos says you staff are out to get us. You believe that? I don't... I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Truth be told, me neither. But Thanos, he's got this theory. Says he has a secret way down into the basement. The basement? Yep, that I can believe. After all, he built this place. Or his family did, anyway. Sir, please, I... Don't you worry, I don't buy anything fishy's going on. But I did say I'd help him. And the one thing I can't shake is I haven't seen Lucas around. Not once. You know anything about that? No, sir. The Master is often very busy. Yeah, but I've not seen Ellie either. It does seem a little off somehow. Anyway, guess I'll have to pass on another drink or Thanos won't let me hear the end of it. Take care now. Okay, so we didn't actually miss all that much. I do have to move now, though. This is really cool, Crispy. It's a murder mystery time loop game where basically we play from 12 in the like 12 noon until 12 midnight the same day over and over in a casino called the Sexy Brutale where the staff are murdering guests and we have to work at saving specific guests uh, the problem I'm having right now I'm a little bit stuck I have to save Ms. Willow Blue who is undoubtedly just down here problem is she's not getting murdered So, I have to prevent that, and in order to do that, I need to be able to trace her whereabouts and try to figure out what's going on. So, we've got a time scrubber here for the 12-hour period that we play each day, so that we can track and figure out where people's schedules are. That's why I was just down here, uh, listening in on this conversation that was going on at the bar here so that I could place the whereabouts of not only Mr. Gas Mask, but also the guy he was talking with. So if we look at her timeline, she hung out in here for a little while, came in from this room over here, and then she was in there. But most of the afternoon she spent in this green section here. And unfortunately, there's a giant skull that's locking the door, and I need an item to get past it, and I haven't the faintest clue what that item might be. But she's in there for a good long while. Like, she goes in around 2.40, and then she doesn't come out again until she just goes, looks at a painting, and offs herself. So the idea is all of these position markers, they don't appear until you yourself have visually confirmed where the people are at that specific time. And since it is a time loop, it's consistent every day. So you can figure out where people are and when and where they're going to be, but you have to see it. Hearing it's not good enough. Unless maybe you're hearing their voice. That might be good enough, but just hearing their footsteps, I've already determined that's not good enough. If 
but it's a really neat game. I'm really enjoying it, but it is a little bit frustrating at the moment. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if maybe there's a piece of information I need somewhere that I simply don't have yet, which is why I was kind of focusing in on that conversation. I was hoping maybe they were going to mention something that was going to be of assistance, but uh, I mostly just missed the beginning pleasantries. So I don't know that there's a whole lot there that I can work with, unfortunately. But, yeah, it's a really cool game. I really like it. So if I zoom out so we can see the entire area that I've discovered so far, this is the very beginning of the day, and we can just kind of zoom through. And you can see... There's already quite a bit of movement going on on various characters throughout the day. And it's only going to get more complicated because some of these are characters like this guy. Where's this guy? This lady here, I believe she's the queen of clubs. She starts off over here, goes out here, and vanishes over that way. And as near as I can tell, she's not relevant to anything that I'm working on yet, but I have no doubt that she's probably trying to murder somebody that I'm going to need to save later on. So maybe it'll be useful that I actually have her whereabouts this early. We'll have to see, I guess. But I was just down here, trying to get a good picture of where our uh, buddy Ace of Spades was. And he just seems to hang out in his bar pretty much most of the day. I lost track of him briefly there. I guess that was probably when I was moving my camera around. But they talked. They just hung out there and kept talking and talking. And then he left and he came over this way. And we already knew that he goes down there. And then I lose him. But he goes there. I don't know what he does there. I can try to figure that out, but it kind of looks like he might just walk over this way and then goes down there. And then I'd seen him previously in this area. And this is a thing... I'm not sure what to make of this. I had to go down here earlier for another part of the game. And this Ace of Spades guy... He went down here, he walked through here, and he entered this room, and the thing is, as far as I can tell, there is no way out of this room, and yet he goes in there and he was not there when I went in after him. So I don't know, something funny's going on in this room. It could very well be that it's a situation similar to this. Because this little room here, the secret room that our friend there was in. Uh, let's... This is the skull room back here. I didn't know about that secret room at first. It was just a blank wall at first. It's very possible that room that I was talking about that Ace of Spades guy vanished into. There could be a secret passage in there. There almost certainly has to be, I would think. See if we have time to go and take another look at that, actually. Key of old habits.
It's an urn made of delicate mosaic glass. The mirror is beautifully crafted and highly polished. Looking into it gives you a deeply unsettled feeling. Yeah, but there's nothing else here. Nothing obvious, anyway. I kind of wonder if this is a portal. Or if there's something behind one of the bookcases. Can't take the urn, even though it's sparkly. But I know people go here and don't come out again until the next day, so there's gotta be another way out of here. How it goes? It's good to see you. Uh... Oh, happy birthday, Voidum. I hope you've had an amazing, amazing day. I will do you a big, big favor and not sing to you. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I j only this isn't the first time I've noticed it really, but um, the mirror here in this room, and I'm guessing that's the urn. They're highlighted in much brighter white, and so is this spiky chest over here. So those have got to be items of significance. There's another chest up here too, but I can't access this room yet. That chest is outlined as well. Huh. It's just 9 a.m., so not yet. What do you mean? Doesn't it start at midnight, Voidum? You're very welcome. Happy birthday. It's at least whole day when you need to celebrate, if not whole week. I'm in favor of whole week myself. Also just hit 500,018 channel points. Very nice, Voidum. This chest looks very significant when you're in the room, but it's not really highlighted the same way. That's interesting. The day, oh, the day has just started for you. Got it. Got it. Anywhere special we want to be. I wouldn't mind camping out this room.
You're a hoarder? She's the last person that we had to save. It looks like she's the first person to enter that room. But we really don't need to worry about where she goes so much. We already saved her. She's gonna die again. But we saved her, so it's already okay. We stole her mask power. I guess the only thing I really need to worry about is whether or not anybody's going to enter the room that I'm in right now. So far, we seem to be okay, though. gonna go in now. What's interesting to me is that conversation about the secret way into the basement is undoubtedly referring to this, but I can't get to this room yet. I'm sure I've seen somebody in there. Let me just take a quick look at the whole timeline. Really? Okay, I might be mistaken then. I was sure I had seen somebody in that room. But it doesn't look like I did. So there's a brief window of 545 to 605 or so where I can't be in this hallway. It might be worth staking that room out to see if anybody does go in or out of it. It's just a matter of quickly dodging Mr. Ace of Spades there. Doing the sort of uh, the entryway shuffle thing. Oh, 
Hello. What are you doing there? <laughs> oh, right. That window would be right about now, wouldn't it? Well, that means that we can complete the stakeout and only have to worry about the first part of it tomorrow. I like the visual cue here that we're approaching the, uh, you know, the time limit on. Yeah, okay, and she's gone. How it kind of pulses the mask representation of her to kind of let us know that, hey, kind of running out of time on this loop for this. I love how they fade the light, like the, not even the light so much, the light a little bit, but the shadows become very blue-purple to indicate night. That's always fun. It's a very inactive room, but I want to make sure. Meanwhile, there's all this stuff going on, the power glitching and everything elsewhere in the house. I think the power thing's just about... there we go. I'm sure that's probably somebody getting fried somewhere else in the casino. the first part of the day mostly done then and it's the bigger part of the day because that's what like 5 5 30 until midnight just about I'm running out of time for the day but I really don't think anything's happening here There's the 11.30 rain. There we go. Jessica, how are you doing this evening? 
it's good to see you. Let me get a couple of shout outs out here. Let me just pause this. Make sure you're following Greeny and Jessica if you're not already, folks. Okay, so we were just camped out here. Now, as far as camping rooms out goes, we camped out this room earlier yesterday and we did see what's her name exit this door and go up to there do i have her movements after that point so there she is she goes there and okay so she cuts through there we don't have to worry about her going through that hallway good Oh no, Jessica, I hope it's not COVID. I hope it's something a little bit better, like, you know, common flu or cold or something like that, or even allergies. I really hope you're uh, okay. Take care of yourself, all right? That really sucks. I'm not feeling 100% myself today, but it's nothing like COVID. I think it's something I ate earlier. Nothing to worry about. It'll pass. We're just going to finish staking out this room for as long as we can. Or at least until we don't need to anymore. I really want to see if somebody uses it for anything. The fact that the door, like the, the trap door there above the ladder, doesn't change at all kind of suggests that it might be inactive. I don't know that anybody but us is ever going to use it. But we should know. It would also be no good to know that the room is just permanently empty except for us, because that means it's a potential safe room. I mean, you know, once I actually get access to the door that leads into it anyway. Not that hopeful because my father and brother got it and we got in contact. Oh no, I'm very sorry, Jessica. Well, then, if it does turn out that you have it, I hope it's at least a very mild case with no long COVID. not a good noise. When does Ace of Spades guy pass through here? Okay, they're just going to start their talk, so it's probably not going to be too quick. Oh, hang on. So he pops in around 5.45-ish. Because I was aware I took extra vitamins and the slightest sign it could get me, I started with the medicine, so me being fast couldn't turn out better as well. Hopefully. Hopefully. I just remembered where that gunshot is. That's the shotgun from the tutorial. Wow, that took me way too long to put together. In the tutorial, you don't go through the 12-hour loop. You're in a smaller loop from 
noon until 5 p.m. So the shot going off towards the end of that period marks the end of the time you have available to save the guy you need to save. Okay, there's absolutely nobody using this room. I could have sworn I saw somebody in there. I must have been mistaking it for somebody else, though. Or some other room. I was so certain. Wow. Okay, it's just about time. But I'm gonna keep watching until we're actually interrupted. Maybe give it five minutes before. Right about... Now, yeah. I had already been watching for a few minutes when we uh, got in there earlier. So that's that room taken care of then. We now know for certain. At no point during the time loop does anyone use it for anything. Come on, go upstairs. Start back up here again. There was actually a room on the other side I wanted to check. Wait just a minute. Given what we know of the artist, that's creepy as hell. Wow. This was noted as being interesting. By which I mean the, um, the map shows it highlighted. It's a big spiky box with a... It's a spiky box with a big padlock.
another thing I'm really curious about. Is this character here. I assume we're going to have to rescue her from someone at some point. Partly because she's not one of the killers. And partly because she emerges in the morning from this room here. Presumably her bedroom. Then she goes off and stands around here for a little bit. Then she comes back this way and she goes up here. And she vanishes off here. And then... As near as I can remember. We never see her again. Well... <laughs> We'll have to see, because we do have another victim here that we've got, we're going to have to save at some point. Then we have two victims that we're going to have to save at some point. Then another two victims that we're going to have to save at some point. And then a last one. But this one actually does kind of look like her silhouette. So she might be next after this one. Hmm. And that's just about it for another loop. Fireplace is huge and extends deep into the wall. There's a tiny carving of a moth on one side. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Until tomorrow. Until today. Since I'm not feeling particularly well tonight, I think I might actually end almost perfectly on time for once. <laughs> I might be tempted to play a little bit better if I were, you know, actually making better progress. And honestly, I think we kind of are making progress because we're mapping out movements pretty well. Which will eventually lead us to new information we need, but it is taking a good long time. And I think I'm going to go use it to relax and try to feel better. So maybe we should go find somebody to raid. But this is a really awesome game, and if you guys want to see more of it, I will definitely stream more of it. I do have another similar looking game, although it's not a time loop game, as far as I'm aware. It's kind of, um, kind of an anime styled... At least I think it's anime styled. I actually thought Sexy Brutal was anime styled as well. It turns out, not so much, but that's okay. It's a really awesome style. Uh, but I think this one might be an anime style one where you're kind of in a fantastical world and you have to investigate murders and really go around and talk to people and you have the freedom to accuse whoever you want of being the killer and the game's not going to necessarily hold your hand about whether you're correct or not you have it's on you to make sure that you investigate enough to actually dig up the evidence to support your case and it sounds really really cool it looks really interesting i actually almost bought it on the nintendo switch a few weeks ago and i'm glad i didn't because it turns out that i actually already own it on both humble and steam 
So I saved myself about 20 bucks not buying it <laughs> after I already owned it. Uh, I must have got it through a Humble promo or something like that. I tend to end up with a lot of Humble games, maybe because I'm a partner or something, I'm not sure. Or because I subscribe to a choice. But it looks really good. It's called Paradise Killers. So I want to try that one too. It looks really fascinating. Uh, this one, well, well, this is the one that's like Deathloop, not uh, Paradise Killers, Mr. Soggy Ramen. It's on a 12-hour time loop. So you start every day at 12 noon, and then you play until 12 midnight, during which a cycle of events happens over and over and over again. And it's your traversal of the areas within the game and accumulation of knowledge that allows you to put together the story, prevent certain key people from being killed, gain new abilities that let you access more areas and more information, and make your way through the game. That's what this game is all about, and I'm actually really loving it. It's really, really good. Thank you for the stream. Always nice, very cozy. I appreciate that, Jessica. Ah, uh, thank you, JH. We didn't save a lot of people tonight, but we saved a few, which was pretty cool. I really like the way they do the time loop mechanic. It's really fun. Okay, let's see who we've got live. Laxative Legacy is playing some Dying Light to stay human. There's not a lot of people on tonight, honestly. Slappy Jack is playing something called Home Sweet Home. Okay, I take it back. There's a lot of people on, but very few of them are people I know. Oh, Itray is on. She's playing the quarry. Mandy is also on. She's also playing the quarry. Simcopter's playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. And that's about it. So we had, uh, who did we have? Laxative Legacy playing Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Then I believe we had Slappy Jack with Home Sweet Home. I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like it's a horror game of some sort. It's a spooky game. Then... Wow, we really did have a gap, didn't we? Lax, then Slappy Jack, then I Tray with the quarry. Mandy with the quarry. And Simcopter with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thank you, Itai. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate all of you hanging out, even though this was a little bit of a lower energy stream than I was hoping it was going to be. I was not expecting to not feel good tonight. But then again, I guess, unless you have something chronic or long term, you don't usually expect to not feel well. Why don't we go with iTray? Because we so rarely get to visit with her. I'm going to load up her channel right now. I'm a little surprised she's still on. I thought she typically ended around 3 or so. Let me just get this loaded. I have a little bit of an ad to sit through. It's a bit of a longer one, but it's only the one, so hopefully it won't be too terrible. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I will. I'm sure it's just a little something that's not agreeing with me that I ate earlier. Let's see how it goes. That's a movie promo. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like Trey is still streaming. I don't know if she's still playing. She might be getting ready to wind down. She might have ended the gameplay, which honestly... I'm not a big fan of the quarry, so that might be just as well. Let's go hang out with Trey, see what she's doing. When she's winding down her stream, she tends to do a lot of music, which is really awesome because she's an awesome musician and singer. So we'll go check out what she's up to, see how the quarry went for her. And I will be back tomorrow. My original plan was to play more Jurassic World Evolution 2 tomorrow, but it kind of sounds like there may be a driver incompatibility. I'm going to have to test it maybe after stream now or tomorrow afternoon or something 
and see if it will run stably or if I need to revert drivers or something. So I was kind of debating that I might do some City Skylines instead or maybe one of the other strategy games that we have on the go. So I'm not entirely 100% sure what we're going to play tomorrow, but whatever it is, it's going to be a fun time anyway. So I hope to see you back here for that. Let me get you Trey's link. We're going to raid I, Trey. Oh, it gave her the correct link. That's always a plus. Uh, here. Let me actually... get out of the game then I just don't have to worry about messing with the sound all right and I will get you the raid call it'll be lovely no matter what yeah hopefully anything you choose will be the right choice I'm certain uh you guys are too kind we are going to go raid Itray here at the Library of Lore. We use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, I just realized I forgot to set up my alerts or my uh, my bot messages so that some of them were not announcements for mobile people. I will do that as soon as I get off stream. Uh, if you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, emotes from other streamers, or other Twitch emotes you'd like to use, just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear, and it will all be good in my book. So let's get over to Trey's channel, see what she's up to this evening, how things have been going for her, and I will catch you back here tomorrow night for a game of some description. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Such a ripoff, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. Whoops. What the? <laughs> <laughs> 